Hi everybody, what you're about to see is an example of how I interpret flipped learning for my second period uh, AP chemistry course. So uh, what you'll see is me starting out the lesson by talking about a problem. Um, those problems range from homework problems from the night before to practice problems they have to do in class that day to maybe even uh, reviewing a quiz question from which they just took based off of completing homework from the night prior. Uh, so after that, just the short period, part of the period, uh, the first five to ten minutes, then students are left to uh, work on practice problems together, individually, um, maybe complete the homework from the night before using our iPads, um, maybe completing a short lab, which you won't see in this video, but that happens also. Um, so really just knowing and managing what needs to get done for that week um, and it gives me an opportunity to spend a lot of face-to-face -face time with each student and just walk around, answer questions. Um, basically, I've taken the, the lecture component out, and now we just spend time working on problems in class and going over the difficult stuff in class. They get the definitions and the, the more um, you know, lecture-based things that you typically would do in a class uh, at home now. So. If students want, need to complete that in class, I, I still make that an option, but majority of them choose to get that done outside. So, enjoy. Uh, we're in kilojoules here. What is it? I use, I mean, what are the signs basically? Oh, okay. what, do you, what kind of sign do you want? So over here, how many moles of gas? Exactly. 